Right, this is part four of the Android Image Viewer tutorial. And some of you are probably saying, how many parts of this tutorial series do I have to do before I get an image? Well, you should get an image from this tutorial series. But it's not going to be the last one. There's still going to be some more tutorials after this. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, let's get that image, put it on an image view and display it in our application. Okay, I'm going to add another method here. So this method is basically going to get the bitmap from the URI and we're going to use passable file descriptors, and to, uh, file descriptors to do that. There's probably a number of ways you can do this, but I'm just doing one of the recommended ways from Android document de developers documentation. Okay, so we'll make that private. Um, it's going to return a bitmap, this method. And let's just call it get bitmap from UR, URI. Now it's going to take the UR, URI as a argument. Okay, because we're going to be reading from some memory, we want to sort of protect our method. We want, we want to sort of indicate when something goes wrong. So we're going to put a throw. So the there's going to be, when we call this method, if something goes wrong, we're going to sort of, um, we're going to contain that. We're going to indicate what's happened in that place. So we're going to do what's called throws. So we're going to throw an exception, basically, an IO exception. Okay, so we've now set up the outside of the method. The first thing I want to do is create a passable file descriptor. That's going to be used to uh, hold the raw descriptor data as such. And to get that, we need to call the get content resolver inside of our activity. And there'll be an open file descriptor for us. We can pass in our URI. I'm also going to pass an R for readable only. So we can only read the contents of this data. We can't write to it or change it as such. Okay, so this just contains the raw data. We want to get the file descriptor data out of that. So we need to create a file descriptor. Let's call it file descriptor. And now we can call our passable file descriptor member. member. And this called get file descriptor from it. So now we've got a file descriptor with our data. I can now use a bitmap factory method to actually get the bitmap by passing in the file descriptor. And so we can create a bitmap here. And let's call the bitmap factory. factory. And we want to decode the file descriptor on this line here. And pass in our file descriptor as such. So now we've got the bitmap. We're just about there. Let's tidy up. So by creating the passable file descriptor, we've allocated some resources. So we need to free up those resources to the system. So let's call passable file descriptor and just call close on that to free up those resources. Now it's just a matter of returning the bitmap as such. Okay, so the bitmap uh, method's now in place. So let's go back up to the onactivity result. And in this position here, we can create our bitmap and then load our bitmap into our image view. Okay, so let's create a bitmap member. Now we can call the method that we just created before, get bitmap from URL, URI, pass in the URI as such. Now in the line underneath this, we can call our, our member image view from here and then we can just basically, let's call that. And then it's just a matter of set image bitmap with the bitmap that we just created before. Okay, we are getting a warning here. This warning is because we throw an exception if something goes wrong. 
So we need to put a trap harness, and I'm going to put this trap harness around these two lines here, and just pull the try and catch trap harness as such. And that's it. Okay, now let's try running this and see what happens. Turn the phone on. Press the run button, run app button. Application's now started. Let me record it so you can see what's happening. Okay, I'm just going to select any image. And then we have it here. You can see it's actually now displaying the image here. Okay, that's it to this part four of this um, image Android image viewer tutorial. You will notice at the very beginning I said it's not the end. And it's not the end because what we're doing here is we're loading a full-size image, which is huge, I don't know, 12 megabyte image into this image view. And the image view is small. You don't need 12 megabytes to um, fill, fill a screen that size or display that size. And some of you might even get an error, error with a high resolution camera because the view itself, the background to the view, might not have the capacity to even uh, uh, handle images that size. So there's going to be a follow on tutorial to this on how to uh, use a third party image library which would do the resizing for you to fill the image that size and we'll also specify ourselves the width and height that we want that image to be. And so these will be follow on tutorials to this one. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. If you want to get notified of the following tutorials to this tutorial series or get updates to any of my other tutorial series I'll be creating in the future, click on that subscribe button. And as you can see surrounding me is all my social media accounts. If you've got a PC, you can click on those. Um, so any news, updates, uh, code releases, postings of articles, all get notified on their social media accounts. And directly above me is my website as well. So the postings, I do a post, accompanying post for each one of these YouTube tutorials. And included in that is not only the video, you will get the GitHub details, so you can pull down the source code if you want to. And we also break down the um, code changes that we've made with brief descriptions of what we've done there as well. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye for now.